Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be sharing with you some of my wow items. You know, like the little sign? Weekly wows. Um, I just thought today with my weekly favorites, weekly wows, current favorites, I would kind of just show you some of the products that I have been using on a daily basis for at least for a good month, if not longer. Um, some of them definitely longer, but anyway, um, so I pretty much strictly have cosmetics, um, one skincare item, I think, and some tools. So anyway, without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing I wanna start with, with is actually my sunscreen. After I get done doing all of my skincare and I'll let my skincare kind of set for a few minutes, I'll sit down and I'll put my sunscreen on and then while that's drying, I'll go into the kitchen, get me something to drink, I'll um, figure out on YouTube or Netflix what I'm gonna watch for the morning while that's kind of drying because it does take a little bit of time for it to dry and kind of absorb into the skin. And I want that to do that so that one, um, I get the full benefits of the sunscreen and two, um, so that my makeup will lay over it um, nicely without um, getting all cakey and everything. But anyway, the one of my favorite sunscreens that I have been finding that I like the best, and this is my second bottle of this brand. This is a different kind, but it's from Shiseido. And I know I've, I've heard people talk about the Shiseido sunscreens for a very long time, and it took me a very long time to get on board with actually using a sunscreen every single day on my face. And um, I like this one. It's the Shiseido um, Extra Smooth Sun Protection Lotion with an SPF of 38. Um, yes. No, wait. Yes, SPF of 38. And of course I didn't bring, oh wait, I started saying I didn't bring my glasses, but I have my little magnifying glass that I have a hard time seeing out of. Yes, it's the SPF 38. I kind of re would rather have the SPF 50, but this one I had anyway. It's got one of those little shaker balls in it, and you just shake it up really, really good, and then you pour out a really good amount. Um, a teaspoon is what you actually need on your face. So, and hopefully, if everything works, you'll be seeing a demo here on the side of me putting this on. If not, then I'm going to kind of, I hate to waste it, but I'm going to show you anyway. That is the amount that I put on of my face every day. Uh, and it's, it's pretty liquidy, it's pretty runny, so that's why it does take a little bit of time for it to, um, to set into the skin. It has a little bit of a sunscreen smell to it, but it's not too bad. Um, it doesn't irritate my eyes. Um, I know that's always been an issue in the past with sunscreens, especially if you sweat, then that runs and gets in your eyes and then it stings. I haven't had any problems with it stinging in my eyes. And you know, here in this, the Oklahoma summer heat, I have been doing a lot of sweating and I haven't had any issues with it irritating. I haven't had any issues with it um, breaking me out or feeling heavy. That was another reason why I never liked sunscreen is because I would put it on and I would kind of feel suffocated, like I couldn't breathe. With this, with it being as liquidy as it is and as lotion feeling, um, it's definitely not a heavy sunscreen. But anyway, I put it on and I go down my neck. I usually go about to here with it and then I'll do another teaspoon and do so anyway, so I'm putting two teaspoons on face and neck. And then, like I said, I'll go and give it a good five, 10 minutes for it to really sink into the skin and to dry and to absorb. And then I start with my makeup. So the next item then that I am going to do is um, my primer that I have been really liking. I pulled this out of my sample bucket and it's the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer in Radiance. Oh my stars, I don't know. I think I probably have used one of her primers before, but I think it was just the regular one. I don't think I've ever used the Radiance one. Yes, very, very nice. Um, if you'd like a matte finish to your face, you're not gonna like this, but if you want something 
that it's not glowy but it's just like it says it just um, produces a nice radiance to the skin um, it helps with the makeup to stay longer well I don't know if it stays longer but it stays it stays throughout the day I don't I'm not one to go throughout the day and do touch-ups I will with my lips but um, as far as the actual makeup part in my face, I don't. I don't carry any kind of powder or anything like that in my purse. I'll just carry a lipstick. So anyway, um, let me do a little swatch of it. It looks like this here. And again, hopefully you're seeing a demo of it. But it's just so pretty. And it just glides on so pretty and just goes right into the skin and just leaves a really pretty glow. And you could actually if you're having a really good skin day or you don't want to put on a whole lot of foundation or whatever you could probably just go with this for the rest of the day it's, it's just that pretty i really do like it and i think i'm going to get a full size of it at some point in time but anyway and then what i also wanted to say was you know i, I just mentioned that i had pulled this out of my foundation bucket i'm thinking about doing a series um, called sample sunday and basically it would be where I would pull out two or three products out of my sample bucket, test them out for the week, and then do a review on them and then pull out an additional two or three. Would that be something that you would want to see? Um, you may not, you may not be interested in that, but I have, I have a ton of samples. I sold a whole bunch of them and I've given away a whole bunch of them, but I have another big giant jar of them again. And I thought, well, Maybe that would be a way to encourage me to use my samples if I'm doing a, a video series on those. But anyway, but I don't want to do something that you're not interested in. I mean, if that's something you're like, eh, no, seen it, done it, don't care. So anyway, but anyway, I have been definitely been enjoying this for sure. And I'm going to be sad when it's gone. I'm hoping I have another one. <laughs> anyway, so I was going to, i um, been planning on doing getting my Sephora um, wish list going for the Sephora VIB Rouge sale that takes place in November. Did, but did you know that next week they're going to be doing a 20% off sale? I haven't seen anything about it um, that was sent to me directly, but I was watching another YouTube channel and they came up and were saying, yeah, they're surprising us with doing a 20% off sale, which is August 23rd through something like that and I just wonder if they're doing that because I think and I may be totally totally wrong on this but I'm thinking that that's going to be the same time frame that Ulta's during their 21 days of beauty possibly so maybe they're really trying to compete with Ulta because I know they have revamped their uh, rewards program um, it's still not as good as Ulta by by no means but anyway so I don't know. So that makes me wonder if they're doing that next week, then in August, are they going to be doing the big one in November, which is really going to suck because that's when they have all the Christmas sets and all that stuff out. Hmm. Anyway, just food for thought. Next product, then after I would do my primer and I let that set for a few minutes too. Then I'm going to go in with my um, foundation and the foundation that I have been really liking and been using a lot and um, is a combination but you don't have to do the combination. Um, the only reason why I'm doing it is because I have this product here which is the It Cos Cosmetic CC Plus um, CC Cream. This is in the color light. The light is too dark for me so I have been taking this um, ordinary foundation serum and have been mixing them and so this this here serves two purposes well it serves three purposes one it it lightens this up two this is a very sheer or um, thin consistency I mean it's a serum foundation so it kind of thins this out a little bit and then three this just has a beautiful glow to it so when you put this on top of that Laura Mercier Radiance Primer. I mean, you get you get some really glowy skin going here. But yes, but I do like this on its own, just not this color fair. I really wished even in fair that it was just a little bit lighter. But I really do like the um, Ordinary Serum Foundation. And this one is in the color 1.1P. 
which is a pink undertone and um, you can get this off of um, Beautylish and the Ordinary website, I do believe. And um, it's just, this is the one I really wanted to talk about because if you haven't tried it, and if you haven't tried a serum foundation and you are um, a woman, a mature woman, um, you might want to consider using a serum foundation or even a tinted foundation or even like a BB cream, something that's a little bit lighter um, and not as heavy as a full coverage foundation because the older we get, less is more. But you can just see how thin and sheer that this is, but it's really pretty on the skin even on its own. Um, now this color is a little bit too light for me. When I ordered, I wasn't for sure, so I ordered several different colors um, in this because I think they're like three, between six and ten dollars. I can't remember exactly, but they're not over ten dollars. They're very, very inexpensive, and they're good. They're really, really good. The only thing that I don't like about this is it does have a pump, but this pump will like squirt. And then the stuff will just go everywhere. I can't tell you how many times I've had to clean up foundation, that foundation off of my mirror, off of my vanity. But it's just really, really pretty. And it seems like every time I wear this, I really get really nice compliments on, on my skin. Because it just really makes a really pretty, pretty canvas that you're putting on your face. And just really pretty. I really do like it. Can I say that again? Oh, does it have a SPF in it? Um, I don't think it does. I don't think that it does. Okay, so then I try my foundation on and I let it set and kind of dry for a little bit. Then I will go in with my setting powder. And the setting powder I've talked about, I think I talked about it in uh, two, like, two favorites ago, which is the um, Cody Airspun Powder. And I have two colors and I mix them and I put them in my little powder box right here. So anyway, and um, cause it's very inexpensive. You get it at Walmart, it's like $6. So if, even if I have to mix a couple of colors for $12, you know, plus I love the smell of it. Okay, enough, enough of that. What I want to talk about is this brush here. And I know I just hauled it, but um, before I did the haul, I've had it for a little bit. I bought it during the Nordstrom anniversary sale. It wasn't part of the anniversary sale, but I had Nordstrom notes. So I had enough Nordstrom notes to um, pay for it, which is a good thing because it's expensive. But it's the La Mer powder brush. And I know I've heard a lot of people talk about it. And I'm thinking, you know, it's a brush. It's an expensive brush. Um, it's a, is it natural hair? Ugh, I don't remember if it's natural hair or not. I'll try and put a little annotation here if it's natural bristles or not. I can't remember if it's natural or if it's synthetic. Mm. Anyway, it's magic. I don't know how this brush does it with this powder because this powder has a consist consist this powder has a tendency to be very <laughs> like that all over the place. I mean, it's, it's got, it has talc in it and it just goes, it goes everywhere. It's just very flyy. And some of my brushes that I've been trying to use with it, if one, either they didn't pick up enough product or two, they would pick up the product and then I would go put it on my face and it'd just be a splotch, just right there. Not this brush. This brush, I mean, it is just really, really good. I just kind of load up the brush and you can see right here how much is on there and I just tap it off. And I tap it off really, really good. And so this is how my brush looks. And then I just kind of start pressing it onto the face, just like so. And it just makes it so pretty. It doesn't disturb the foundation and the primer in the sunscreen that I just spent the last 15 minutes putting on. You know, I don't have time in the morning to go back and redo because my found my powder, you know, caked up or plopped into one spot. Um, it just goes on so nice. And that's all I need. I don't need to go back and redip. It's got enough on there. It goes into the brush and then it just kind of lays it down. And you just want to pat it on and just, oh, it just, it's so nice and it's so soft. And 
I just really like it. I mean, I've put off buying it because, I, I mean, it's expensive. I thought, oh my God, you know, La Mer thinks their stuff is made out of gold, but, um, oh, it's just nice. It's nice. I like it. So I have that. And then I will um, go in then with my bronzer and a highlight and a blush. And that's going to be, and then I will set it with a setting powder. And I'm going to skip a product. I'm going to go back to it. And you, you, you want to wait for this next product that I'm skipping to come back. Just, just hang on. Just bear with me. So I'll set my makeup with this. And this is the Ofra um, Makeup Setting Spray. Makeup Fixer. I did get this in um, PR from Octoly several months ago and did a review on it. But I really, really do like this. It's a fairly inexpensive. It's around $16. You can get it at Ulta. You can use your $3.50 off coupon. Um, it is eight ounces. So you're getting quite a bit because you know the Urban Decay, this guy here, which is just the old packaging, is only four ounces and it's like 20 something dollars. So you're getting double the amount cheaper and then you can still use your discounts. And it just works really, really good for setting and just making everything just stay. It doesn't dry the face out. It's very hydrating. And it's just, you just spray it and that's what I do. I just do that and then I just let it set. After it has set for a few minutes, then I go in with my mascara. Don't make the mistake that I have done lots of times. Put my mascara and then spray this because <laughs> you will end up with mascara down here. It never fails. But anyway, I do recommend this. I do like it. I was, I was hoping to find a replacement of um, the Urban Decay because they changed the packaging and they changed the formulation. And um, I'm, this is going to be it. I will definitely be repurchasing that. So now we're going to go back a step when I talked about how I do um, highlighter and blush. I want to talk about a product that was in a, a Walmart beauty box back during I'm pretty sure during May the beginning of May because my daughter got me the one that was for curly hair for Mother's Day so it was the beginning end of April beginning of May anyway there was one that was the glow one and in it was this product here and this is from Hard Candy and what it is is it's just three highlights you've got a gold tone, a pink tone, and then you have a mauve tone. Now for me, the mauve one here, I use that one as a blush, and that is what I have on as my blush today. I do have this gold color on as my highlight today. I absolutely love this. I have been using this probably, I would say, since I got it, like probably 75% of the time. And that's over, you know, Chanel highlighters, Tom Ford highlighters, um, Becca highlighters, you know, all the other highlighters that I have, you know, Natasha Denona. This guy right here, I just want to keep using it. I just have fallen in love with it. And it's called Hard Candy um, Rose Gold Highlighter. Um, Hard Candy is sold at Walmart. And the way I like to apply it, and because it's in the small package and the little... Um, strips of color are small because sometimes I like to go into just the pink or sometimes just the gold or I will um, do a little combination of both. I've been using this brush here which is a fan brush by Sonia G and um, I forget which one this is called. Which one is this called? It's the smaller one that she has. The Sculpt, the Sculpt 3 is what it's called which this will this probably should be in here as a favorite too. If you want a really good small fan brush, <laughs> you need to get this. And it's sold on Beauty Lush. But anyway, I will just take it, take my little fan brush, and I'm just going I will just concentrate in this one side right here, which is the gold. And then I'll just put it on the tops of my cheeks. I mean look at that. Look how pretty that is. I'm gonna get a little bit more to do the other cheek. Oh I just love this. It is so 
pretty and it's not it's not over the top there's not a whole bunch of chunky glitter pieces in there it's just a really nice pretty glow and who would have thought i mean hard candy this is probably a lot of brand that's more toward gear younger girls <laughs> not not old ones like me there's the one that i've been using for the blush but, oh it's just so pretty here it is swatched the three colors i hope my lighting's not blowing that out let me scoot back there you go now you can see it so i was so excited about how much i liked it i thought i have got i have got to get one of these to do for a giveaway i have to i have to do it i have to let y'all know and it was like six dollars but when i went to walmart i couldn't find it i thought oh no i'm like oh that was that just like limited to that box uh, oh no surely not but guess what guys it wasn't it was not limited to that box what was limited to the box was the size it was this is like a small deluxe size the mini because they have the big one look so I have the big one here of what I just showed you the same three highlights um, if you are a little bit darker skinned, it's going to look beautiful on you. You could definitely use this mauve colored one there as your highlight there that way. But if you're my skin tone or even a little bit darker, a little bit lighter, use that as a blush or as a blush topper. It is beautiful. And then, um, fortunately, I, I can't do giveaway on this brush here from the Sonya G because it's just so expensive. I'm sorry. But I did pick up an uh, e.l.f fan brush so I have someone is going to win this little combination here this little goodie here and I actually have two of these I have two to give away so and I'm going to go back and get me a full-size one of this <laughs> so anyway so what you need to do to enter the giveaway is just put in the comments maybe um, how about a, a hidden drugstore item that no one talks about that you got, maybe someone gave it to you, or maybe you just seen it and thought, oh, I'll just give it a try. Not expecting it to be like, whoa, like wow. And then you get it, and the more you use it, the more you fall in love with it. Let me know. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you have enjoyed, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.